Greetings nerdy list aficionados and welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. Today we're taking a look at Galactus and heroes who have crossed paths and worked for the giant devourer of worlds. Let's be honest, mostly as heralds. Some of these instances have occurred in the main universe and others have crossed over into the multiverse. I'm Sasha and these are the top 10 superheroes who worked for Galactus. Let's get started. Number 10, Dazzler. Starting off with a fun one, kinda. A what if story from number 33. What if Dazzler became the herald of Galactus? In this story, Galactus forces Dazzler to become his herald, which she agrees to because he promises not to eat the earth, and that seems like a good deal. She proceeds to work for him for centuries, and then begins to develop feelings for him. Yes, those kind of feelings. And he in turn starts to soften up as well, rejecting a world full of sentient creatures she accidentally brings him to. But all is not well when a group of aliens make a weapon to take him out, and it ends up injuring Dazzler instead. This sends Galactus into a fit of rage, and he wipes them out, which angers her. She refuses to work for him anymore. Since he has grown fond of her over the years, he releases her. Hooray! All her friends and family are dead. Number 9. Squirrel Girl The unbeatable Squirrel Girl was an interesting comic, one that took the character and ramped up the comedic and OP aspects of her at the same time, to the max. It also featured a purposely abrasive art style. In this storyline, Doreen takes on Galactus by talking to him and becoming his friend, leading him away from Earth to a world full of nuts. And the two take a selfie together, cause hip and relatable. The youths take selfies. Greetings fellow youths. He would find himself so charmed by her that he would leave her with his card and the offer to come be his herald anytime. An offer that Squirrel Girl hasn't taken him up on. Query, are you all fans of classic Squirrel Girl or new Squirrel Girl? Let me know which and why down below. Both? Both is always an option too. Number 8. Rom the Space Knight This is a character who ended up in Marvel Comics purely because they wanted to build interest in the toy. He's a cyborg warrior who can defend his planet from invaders. He is the Space Knight. Here we have the usual way people become the heralds of Galactus, by striking up a bargain with Galactus. So Galactus found himself in the midst of Rom's war, and he is looking at Rom's homeworld like a tasty snack. But Rom decides to strike a deal and take Galactus to the world of his enemies. That's right, that's ice cold. He becomes his herald and takes him to Wraith World, but ultimately Galactus is incapable of consuming Wraith World. So in Rom's situation, it was a nothing lost, nothing get- well actually, lost was game, because his planet did not get eaten. And Galactus laughed about it, so there's not even going to be revenge. Not bad in a day's work for Rom. He was released as the Herald pretty quickly after that. Number 7. Doctor Strange So Doctor Strange for a brief time became the Herald Supreme. We see the start of this in Doctor Strange number 13 in 2019. So the recent Doctor Strange run, or it was recent, they rebooted the Doctor again just at the start of 2020. The Surgeon Supreme. But in this story, the mystic Zolaz seeks out Doctor Strange to help against Galactus. So Zolaz sends Galactus to a mystic realm, which angers Strange who says now instead of this character's planet being at risk, all of reality is at risk. Thanks a lot, Zolaz. So Strange thinks he needs to get Galactus out of there before magic and science collide, but Galactus refuses to listen to Strange about what he should and should not consume in this mystic realm. This is even when Strange warns him some of these things will poison him. Not could, will. And so Galactus does indeed end up becoming addicted to magic, and it is depleting Strange's powers to keep him in this mystic realm, this kind of like pocket safe zone. So in order to help him and save the multiverse, Doctor Strange offers himself as the herald to Galactus. And offer that the Devourer accepts. So Doctor Strange quests to find pockets of realities that are suitable to Galactus' needs and newfound magic addiction. I think the best thing about this arc is that it was called Herald Supreme. There's been a lot of changes for Doctor Strange of late. Right now he has the use of his hands again. Number 6. The Silver Surfer Of course, no list would be complete without the original Herald of Galactus. So the Silver Surfer, Norn Rad, the man who made the deal with Galactus to spare his world and his lover. The Silver Surfer was a herald for quite a while, and he didn't have the compunctions or qualms about leading Galactus to occupied worlds that some other heralds have. For example, Earth. This is where he would come face to face with the Fantastic Four, the group of heroes who had set him on the path towards deciding that he was going to change his ways, and instead become a defender of the galaxy, rather than one who worked for a being that causes so much suffering within it. So the Silver Surfer actually became a hero after he worked for Galactus. Although I'm sure for the people of his own planet he was one already, because they got spared. Although definitely not so much the people whose planets he brought Galactus to. Number 5. The Human Torch slash The Invisible Boy So Galactus for a time was interested in Sue Storm as a herald, as he was intrigued by her invisibility and force field powers. So, in order to protect his wife, Reed Richards found a way to have the team members swap powers. So we had Sue and her brother Johnny swap. However, Galactus is no fool, and he discovers the swap, and so he just goes after Johnny Storm instead. 
since he has the power set that he wants as the invisible boy. He kidnaps Johnny and just forces the power cosmic onto him. Johnny is overwhelmed by the changes that have happened to him, but manages to still steer Galactus towards uninhabited worlds. Looking at you, Norm. Johnny would betray Galactus, using his new cosmic powers to analyze him and send what he found back to Reed and Quasar. This would give them the instructions they needed for a device to remove Galactus's cosmic energy, which reverted him back to his original form, Galen. So definitely not a match made in heaven. Number four, Cosmic Ghost Rider. We're going to another universe for this one, Earth TRN666, where Frank Castle in this universe, Francis Castle, becomes both the Ghost Rider and a herald to Galactus. In this universe, Galactus comes to what he is unaware is an already dead Earth. He was injured and seeking refuge from Thanos, who incidentally had been the person who had depopulated the Earth. But we need to go back before that. Castle, who had been imbued with the powers of Ghost Rider, had offered his services to Galactus as his herald, which he accepted, and it was actually going great for the two of them. You know, until Thanos. After Galactus was ended by Thanos, the cosmic Ghost Rider would retain his powers and be involved in time travel plots and baby Thanos. And this arc, if you weren't there reading it, convoluted. Shenanigans. Hard to follow. Number three, Franklin Richards. Let's flip the script. Franklin Richards made Galactus his herald. So there's this interesting thing in a couple of universes where Franklin Richards is meant to become the next Galactus. I mean, it's in the 616 kind of too. Anyway, what we're dealing with here is Galactus being defeated by some Celestials who combine into a super Celestial like Voltron or a Transformer. And so Franklin, who had come into his own and could well do anything, resurrects Galactus as his herald. And so Galactus got back into it with the mad Celestials and defeated them. No, he's not still his herald, as great as that would be. But yeah, Franklin and Galactus are low-key friends. Fun existential friends who will be together at the end of all time. Depressing. Number two, Thor. Thor, the Herald of Thunder. This was the big surprise of the Donny Cates 2020 Thor run. It's the start, first issue, getting right into it. It's how he gets his arm and his eye back, which, boo, bring back the metal arm. So Thor is the king of Asgard, and it's burning him out. He's super powerful and you can just feel it weighing on him. So when Galactus literally crashes into Asgard, he gets ready to unleash the thunder. Only Galactus tells him that he is there for help and that the Star Plague is coming. So is the Black Winter. Thor gathers the Heralds of Galactus to try and figure out what is going on. It's the meeting of all these Heralds. The Silver Surfer, now Black, comes as well. And him and Thor hatch a plan to try and save the universe. But it involves Thor going with them, sort of. But then suddenly Galactus turns the tables, saying that he needs Thor, and so he infuses him with the power cosmic, so that they can go kill the Black Winter together. Herald of Thunder. And finally, in at number one, Superman. This occurred in the crossover comic Superman slash Fantastic Four from 1999. Now, these crossovers take place in a world where the two universes have just always been coexisting together, combined. That's just the way it is. Nobody asks questions because it's always been. When Superman learns that Krypton was really destroyed by Galactus, it makes him worry that the World Devourer would come to Earth. So he goes to ask the Fantastic Four for help. However, as they're talking, Cyborg Superman shows up and traps Clark in an energy beam, which was a trap by Galactus to turn Superman into his new herald. So Superman is imbued with the power cosmic and finds himself under Galactus' thrall. And so he begins to seek out planets for him to eat. Uninhabited ones. Again, looking at you, Norrin. He snaps out of it when Galactus starts looking for inhabited worlds to consume. When he does snap out of it, he finds a way alongside Reed to recalibrate Galactus' equipment, which gives them bargaining room with Galactus, who, as it turns out, did not destroy Krypton. Hooray! So those were 10 superheroes who worked for Galactus. And what have we learned? Most of that Galactus is really reasonable and down to make a deal. Did you know about all of these? Let me know down below. I'm Sasha and thanks so much for watching Top 10 Nerd. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you never miss a vid. And we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.